Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to understand one of the very you know, trending questions of 2024 and from understanding perspective also, it is very important. That is understanding Tableau architecture. Now this question becomes very interesting. So when you go up the ladder in your experience in Tableau or anything or any other skill you take, we want to understand the architecture or it is expected that you understand the architecture of uh, your server that you are working on. Okay, so let us uh, spend some time on understanding that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first thing is why we need an architecture or why do we need to understand? See, you take the example of, you know, Mintra you take or you take Flipkart, or you take Facebook. So there is a lot of effort that is being you know, put to create an architectural diagram so that these systems are highly available, or these systems are highly scalable, or these systems are widely accessible, or they are balancing huge number of users at a time. Right, so that is the intention. So on an Amazon site, you know, you can, you, you take the volume of customers who log in during their big billion days or Flipkart, you know, their sale during their sales season, number of users who are logging on to their website is very high, which means load on that server or at that particular time is very high compared to the normal days, right? So this is the general background of, you know, why we need to spend a time. Similarly, if I try to compare the concept with respect to Tableau. What does it mean for us? Our system or our architecture should be able to connect to multiple data sources. First thing, it should be highly scalable. It should be highly accessible, right? So these are the two things we should, you know, our, our architecture should be able to do. It should highly be available. It should be highly scalable. It should be able to connect to multiple data sources while ensuring that there is a security to whatever is there in the system or the server. So for that, we have a concept called as a Tableau arch architecture. Okay. So this is a general story behind why we need an architecture. Now, take a very... Uh, you know, general example of our real time. If I want to make a small connection, or suppose if I want to connect with you, there are certain steps that I follow, right? I have to, you know, maybe turn on my system, connect that to internet, maybe record a video and then post it on, you know, uh, YouTube and then you guys will watch. So how many steps we have done here? Five steps we have done, you know. Uh, turning on the laptop, connecting to internet, you know, recording a video, publishing it like that. So, right. So, these are the some steps that I am performing. Similarly, when you are making a request in Tableau, there is a flow that is being triggered in the behind the screen. So, that flow we need to understand and that is the flow we need to explain in the interview. Okay. I hope you are clear till here. Now, just to make your job easy, you know, this is how the important components of our Tableau architecture will look like. So the first important part of a server is your data server. Okay. Second important part is data connector. Third is components. Fifth is your customer or client or, you know, we call it as a gateway. And next is your client. Okay. Data server, data connector, components, gateway and client. Okay, now what is the data server here? Data server is the primary component of Tableau architecture. Why? Because that is where it allows us to connect to data, right? So by definition, if I try to explain you what is uh, Tableau, we tell that, you know, it allows us to connect to multiple data sources, right? So where is that residing in your data server, right? So that is the major part of our or which major focus of this data server, the first layer of this, okay? Second is our data connector. So data connector is like 
uh, it provides you an interface or like a medium to connect it to this data sources. If I am trying to connect to uh, an Excel file, so my ODBC connection related to that will get invoked. If I am trying to connect it to a SQL server, my ODBC connection to that is getting invoked. So there are some built-in you know, connectors that are provided by Tableau and there are some that we need to configure manually. So in this layer of data connectors, all of this will come into picture. I am trying to communicate with you, which means I am trying to have a data connector like my English language as a medium through which I am trying to communicate, right? Same in real time when you are trying to connect it to Snowflake database, that type of ODBC connection will get invoked and it will try to connect it to your data source and bring in the result like that. Okay. When you are trying to connect it to text to file, that text to file ODBC connection will get invoked and it will give you the result. That is the part of our data connectors. Very important. The third part of our server is components. Sometimes in interviews, he might specifically ask you, what are the components of a Tableau server? So you can talk about this specific parts or you can explain them whole architecture your way, okay? So there are three important components of a Tableau server. First is application server. Second is a VisiSQL server. And third is our data server, okay? Application server, VisiSQL server, and data server. I hope you are able to see it here, okay? What does this application server do? Application server, you know, does all the authorization, access related issues, all of that this application server takes place. Okay, it ensures there is a security, you know, or our timeout errors. So when an admin is configuring, he will take care of all of these activities. So that is the work of an application server. Okay, so if I'm trying to communicate with you, I have to communicate or, uh, you know, uh, in a stipulated time. Otherwise, you know, that will get timed out error. So how are they configuring? They are giving a certain wait time, you know, when you are logging into a server, okay, we need to have access to that. Otherwise your access to that server will get denied, right? So all of that will come under application server. Next is a visit SQL server, a visit SQL server. So your SQL query or converting your SQL query into a visualization is called as a visual SQL server. Now in reporting world, we might have seen many times visual SQL, like visualizing your SQL query, okay? So all of this part or all of this concept is handled by a server called as visual SQL server. So next is our data server, okay? So data server is used to store and manage the data from the external data sources, which means whatever the data that you are getting from your external data sources. So these are your actual data sources. We are getting the data from this and it is storing that data or you know it is bringing in whenever we need that. Okay, so that is the part of this part of server or architecture called as components, where we have three important components just to revise, application server, visual SQL server, and data server. So the next part is gateway. So gateway, what does gateway do? Gateway redirects the request to, to Tableau components. Okay, so like say, if a, a user is you know, giving some request, so from data sources, we are getting the data, Okay, using this ODBC connection, we are able to connect to that. And using this Visual SQL server, we are able to visualize that. And to whatever the application we need, like say if user is accessing from desktop, we need to send it to that. If user is accessing from mobile, we need to send it to that. If user is accessing from web, we need to send to that. So where are you routing that information that you are getting from here? Okay, so that is a gateway here. Okay, so that part is explained here. Gateway directs the request from users to Tableau components. So that is the fourth part. Fifth part is the clients. Like where is the user or the final user logging in? I am recording a video in my laptop, right? You might be watching video 
on your mobile so that is a gateway so from my uh, youtube or from youtube i am accessing from laptop but you are accessing from mobile so that is a client system you are accessing in mobile okay but where is the request going it is using this components the whatever the query you are requested it will go back to the data source using database connections or data connected it, it will bring in the data or read the data and then it will visualize the data using the servers and finally load it into the application that the end user is load using so that is how a typical tableau architecture can be explained in interviews i hope this gave you some clarity to talk about in interviews if it does don't forget to give a comment and don't forget to give us share and like and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day